The chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Tahir Jagger, has assured the Commission's support for the aspirations of Nigerians in the diaspora to participate fully in the electoral process. This was made known during a courtesy visit by the Nigerians in Diaspora Organization, led by its chairman, Alistair Sheyode. I've been happy to see the capital of the first been appointed as the chairman of uh, INEC, and with that, of course, come with the mantle and the challenges, especially with the coming 2011 election. Without further ado, I think the most important thing is to see how the Nigerians in Diaspora can be used to the coming election in terms of monitoring, in terms of support, in terms of how we can have what everybody is demanded and they know that we're capable of doing free and fair election in country Nigeria. So I thank you most sincerely for the honor of uh, visiting us and uh, I thank you for uh, your expressions of good wishes and uh, support and cooperation and partnership uh, as we forge ahead. The mission to discharge the responsibility of delivering free, fair, and credible elections to Nigerians in uh, 2011. Uh, we are determined to do our best to uh, bring that about, and uh, we are clear in our minds that we can only guarantee success uh, if we are able to have every Nigerian uh, committed and involved uh, in the process. In diaspora, more than 2 million in Europe, more than 2 million as well in the UK alone. It means that uh, Nigerians contribute and money transfer, uh, money remittances back home, more than 1.5 trillion naira annually. Without any doubt, sir, with all that input and that contribution, what we really wanted to see and a powerful legacy that you can leave behind is to say, under your chairmanship, Nigerians in diaspora are able to vote not just for 2011, but for now on, until eternity come. We, we might say we don't have the money, but we believe, sir, we have made a tangible request for funds to be allocated to INEC. With that as well, we believe that just an extra income fund will allow that to be achieved without any further delay. Nevertheless, sir, I know you, you might talk about challenges, but I'm <coughs> also more the media and have been running a black TV station in Europe, which is very, very challenging. I believe we have the capacity to do that. Finally, yes, we can try to seek your indulgence as well to see how what kind of advice could be given to our agency as to avoid the impact on the system of information. Because I, I believe that uh, with necessary information and guidance, there will be no more need to do, even though they have captured and are well skilled and skilled, coming from the diaspora, coming from West, Western countries to come home and participate. If you have made the point, about the contributions of the Nigerians in diaspora to our national government. I think nobody will contest that. And uh, we've also made a very strong point about your desires and your aspirations as key stakeholders to also participate uh, in the political development of our country and in particular in the uh, uh, electoral process. So the commitment of uh, the members of this organization to progress and development in Nigeria in all uh, spheres. And, uh, and obviously, uh, you have a lot to contribute, and the opportunities ought to be open and expanded for you to be able to do that, and because it is uh, in the interest of our country. So I want to assure you that we can start a discussion on whatever we can do to ensure that those opportunities uh, are made available for you to be actively engaged and we will try and do that. Uh, into this talking of uh, appreciation and uh, to help you remember your visit here today.